Just doing a little video about replacing a seal on a power steering box for a Land Rover. And I thought I might just do a little playlist of oil seals leaking or places where Land Rovers leak. This could turn out to be an epic film. But anyway, this is a rear crankshaft seal of a 300 TDI. And um, clutch was slipping. Clutch was slipping really badly. And um, couldn't work it out. Well, good pressure, high mileage, clutch slipping. I'll put a new clutch in it. So I stripped it down. But I noticed under the bell housing, just where, where this would be, there's a, there's a bung just about here. And I took that out because normally that's the wading plug and you don't usually fit that when it's driving. Took it out full of oil. I got covered in oil. It was kind of hysterical. But anyway, what it was... People say that the seal's leaking. This is a seal, of, like I say, it's off a 300 TDI. The seal is Teflon, it's not rubber, and it's really good. And you must put them in, when, it's assemb when you get a new seal, it comes with this assembly ring. So that you put this, this piece is stepped a little bit. I don't know if you can focus in there. It's stepped a little bit here. So that goes over the crank and then the seal slips over and it's done. And you must install these dry you must never put any oil on these it's quite contrary to everything that you've been taught so looked at the seal looked okay now I have seen this before so I know what to look for you turn the seal, the seal over and you get a straight edge now I don't have anything fancy for straight edges but this piece of cut off um, aluminum or aluminium square tubing it's absolutely perfect. They're always nearly bang on. So if you're going to put this down here, look, and you're wondering why I've got the light on. I'm going to put the light here, and look at this. Can you see the light coming through the, the seal? See there, look. Wait a minute, move this back. There, look at that. The plate is warped. It's warped across here. Right here. There's two bolts holding it down here and here and it's just too big a gap on the HS 2.8 they put an extra bolt here and here but there's nowhere to tap that into a 300 TDI so unfortunately the seal is perfect but the housing scrap and they're only cheap I always put doughty seals back on again this is a actually somebody's changed this once before because it's not even marked who's manufacturer is so it's a it's a job of one um, Probably worked, it never leaked out of the crank, the crank wasn't marked at all. But just watch out for warps. You, you could, if you're really, really cheap and desperate, you could resurface that. And, and if you've got a tool, and you could put it back in, because the seal itself isn't really worn. It looks worn, but it isn't. But it, well, it is worn, it is a little bit. But you could get away with it in, a, in an emergency, like if you're in a jungle or something like that. Or, Drummondville. But anyway, that's what you'll get, uh, that's what you need. Always replace them if there's any signs of warping, so just check them. 